Hey everyone, welcome back to Joe and Tao. Today's episode of Tears of the Kingdom, we are still looking for anything that can get us access to this Skyview Tower. What's in here? Treasure chest, how do you get in there? easy charge on our charge I still don't know how to get into that tower there's a tower over there Hello, sir. Do you have a moment to listen to my woes? The problem, the problem is I haven't been selling anything at all. I thought I'd create created the perfect offerings to suit the region's climate. I even threw in a few unit, unusual specialty ah. goods. Ah, oh, well, the day... It's a new day, and I have a feeling you're about to make a large purchase. Um, right? Ah. Welcome to Minimus's Fine Goods. What do you got, ah. buddy? Fresh... Oh, he's got rice, fresh milk, Hylian room, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'll buy some milk. I haven't come across that yet. I'll buy two. Sure. Ah. Here you go. I'm selling. Oh. You want to buy some milk? <laughs> uh, yeah, never mind. Ah. See you later. <laughs> okay. Igus Bridge. Where was that cave at? I could have swore I saw a giant cave over here somewhere. As I was just seeing things. Here is what appear, appears to be a Korok. Maybe that's what I thought was the cave. Which is really dumb if that's the case, but... Oh, is this the lady with all the dolls? Or the an stuffed animals? It is. <laughs> What's she been up to? This lady's crazy. Uh, was this not the way to Hatino Village? I can't get lost now. Not after spending all that time with a Gerudo doll maker learning to make sand seal plushes. plushies. I refuse to give up on my dream of handing these out to the school kids. <laughs> I can't wait to see their faces light up when I give them these stuffed toys. Hope I can remember not to glare at them. Ah. Oh, I know. I should practice my routine so I can hand out the toys with a smile. Ah. Hi, kids. I'm the sand seal lady. No, no, not much pizzazz to it. How about... Ah. Us kitties, it's nice to seal ya. Everyone sealing good? This is the same routine that we heard before, ah. lady. You gotta change it up. <laughs> we'll fake till make it. Blah, blah, blah. What are you doing? Ah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so she just loses her plushies every time? <laughs> okay. Oh. You startled me. Alright, yeah, we gotta go get them all. 
Okay. Yep, yeah, sure. We know the drill. There's one. No, Link, don't jump off of there. You... Sometimes the stuff that Link does is kind of silly. I can't get those. They're too far away. Okay, so that means I have to... Sinking. No. Those icebergs are nice, but they don't last very long. Okay, here you go, lady. Oops. Go in there. There you go. Okay, why is it always raining? What? I can't climb a ladder when it's raining? Oh, I was gonna say, what is going on? Some type of fortress over there. Still don't know how to get into there. You said to look for the caves. And now I'm not going to be able to get up. This game, you guys, is just ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen one of those up close like that before. Yeah, I know, you're gonna hit me. Wow. I can't believe I made that without slipping.
This rain, man. Just... I can't stand it. That's a thick board. <laughs> ah. Can I go through that? Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, and it stopped raining. That is bizarre. What in the... That was weird. It instantly stopped raining. Oh. Drop a few more of those down there. Oh, it's another, like... There they all are. Smart enough to notice, stay away from it. So let's do this. <laughs> that was timed perfectly. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Let go of your stick, dude. That's nice. I'll take those. Five of those is pretty good. Let me blow that up. Nope. 
All right, well, let's get out of here. Once again, it's already almost night time. It's raining. These guys out in the rain. Well, that's interesting. Hey, what's what you got to deal? Yeah. You must have a lot of energy tromping around in the rain without care. Are you headed that way too, Betty? Ugh. Me, on the other hand, I'm exhausted researching the Zonai. Sure is tiring. To tell you the truth, I'd rather crawl into a soft bed than rest in a place like this. <laughs> when you sleep in an inn's bed, you wake up a hundred times more energetic, far more refreshed. Oh, great, thanks. I want to know what this is. Nothing? Just a rock in a hole? That seems suspicious. Let's put that rock up here instead. Maybe? Yeah. That's weird. There was like no indicator at all that that was a core. Which one are we going to? We're going to this one. The one that's up the mountain, of course, while it's raining. We're going to get a light tower. I don't care how much we have to do. <laughs> Is this the same light tower I just left that I can't get into? Probably. It's a stone or a battle tolus or a fortress tolus or whatever you call them. I don't want to mess with any of this stuff. Oh, there's a uh, Stalnox. What's he doing down there? I don't really have any good weapons, though, for him. And I don't want to try and go up there. Because of reasons. Main reasons. coming. That was nice. Well, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. So what was that? Dragon. Oh, this is different. Hopla Foothills. Yes. I can't interact with it when the blood moon's happening. When the glow of the blood. Oh, it's not that I couldn't do it because of the blood moon. It's just, it's shorted out. What's wrong with this thing? Come on, guys! Why is there always got to be a problem?
Where does this take me? Ooh, there goes a dragon. He's going into the depths. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's locked. A help. Whoa, that's a long foothills north well. Okay. We heard a voice, but or, there we go. Come here, you know bow. Come here, you know bow. What? Hmm. Interesting. Whoa. Hey, friend. Oh. Elmerson. You, you, what are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? What's wrong? <laughs> I think we know what's wrong, Link. I set off a trap in the ruins, and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Oh. Can you see the switch? If you press that, you could, should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. Okay, yeah, I wonder what you got in that treasure there. So there's a, if there's a cave, then we should be able to go. Over here. Oh, yep, there's some bats. Bats mean cave. There's another, uh, another, um, well over here, too. Unless that's the entrance. South well. But he said it was a cave. Where do those bats go? Right there. Maybe that is the entrance. Well, hmm. right caps. And what is this? Examine. Note on the table the road of a gorm Gowermond is fraught with thorns. It's what? It's why I chose to travel alone. But this life does have its share of lonely nights. That's when you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making my body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate a dish cooked with a glowing cave fish, I produced more light than I did after a bright cap dish. I wonder if the effects is more powerful, the harder the ingredient is to collect. Or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimenting to do. There is no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight. Chef Aura Tamu, the lonely cook. Uh, okay, that's all that's in here. Um, really? Okay, so this is clearly not where we were supposed to go. And there is, in fact, then a... Oh, a cave. What the? It's right here. How did I miss this? Discovery. Polo Foothills Excavation Site. I 
hear a bubble frog. I'll get you out of there in a little bit, buddy. Where's that frog at? I heard him. I've only found 26 of those. It seems like a heck of a lot more. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's get this guy out of his jail cell. Oh, there's another treasure over there. How do you get there? Thank you. I don't have much, but please take this. Purple rupee. Alright. This is what lured me into the trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I have to go. Thanks again. Oh, maybe this is how we get the tower going. At least there's hoping. Okay. And then is this... It's not how you get this one open, though. So how do I get into here? Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Is there another plate somewhere? Oh, it's inside there. Can I get... Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll just use this. Whoop! <laughs> That's awesome. Topaz. Alright, let's go to the surface and update our map, I hope. Wow, guys. again. Hello there, mister. Thanks again for saving me. Look at his eyes. <laughs> his eyebrows. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity, but I fixed it in Jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. I probably caused trouble for my friends at the, const at the construction company, so I'm going to get moving as soon as I calm down. Okay. Yay, we got a tower. Never gets old. Nice. It's a pretty big area. Looks like a hurricane. Okay, 
That's where we were before. Is it me or are these Skyview Towers getting harder and harder to access? So in this one, we had to free Elmerson from his accidental prison in a cave system or dungeon, I guess, underneath the tower. Not only that, we were able to help Junie, aka Crazy Plushy Lady, by gathering up all her plushies for her, which netted us a cool 80 rupees. And now we find ourselves back up in the sky, wondering where to go next. So come back for the next episode to find out. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.